So I am uh, Satya Ramaswamy. I am the Chief Digital and Technology Officer of Air India. Air India is an airline out of India. Has got a 90 year history. One of the most pioneering airlines when it was started. Uh, we are about to uh, embark on a massive transformation journey of transforming the customer experience and uh, creating a, a, an airline that we believe will be one of the best in the world. Great. And what are your thoughts on generative AI and how that could help you internally and then also help your whole operations and customers? Well, yeah. So generative AI is something that we are very excited about. Um, so we started. We have already started using it. Uh, for multiple use cases uh, some of them are what i would call the enterprise use cases for example uh, our management team wants to know at the push of a button or the asking of a natural language question about the status of the various operations for example the ceo wants to come in the morning and say you know which are all the flights that are underperforming today from a commercial perspective or he may want to know which airport we are having challenges in terms of on time performance so all these you know these questions vary from day to day and uh, depending on the context and uh, he would just like to want to ask a question in a natural language and have the system respond back in natural language and then on the customer side you know we want to help them answer their questions that they have or some support that they come to us with and many times today the what we are finding in terms of the user preferences is that instead of going through a website and understanding Uh, the various details they would rather like to ask somebody like a chatbot or an ai agent as we call it to understand uh, the various things you know with their what is the refund policy or what is the baggage policy for my flight or what is the refund rules for the ticket that i have so all this can be answered by using a combination of generative ai and some of the traditional technologies so all these different types of use cases we are using uh, you know both from the consumer side as well as from the enterprise side Yeah, and, and how about uh, you know governance? What what are your thoughts? You have so much uh, private data and others. How do you govern the data? How do you govern how you develop the whole pipeline from raw data through uh, you know insights? So governance is a very important component, and Databricks has a very very nice governance framework called the Unity Catalog. Data governance is very important for us. Um, so we are a very safety. minded industry uh, because people's lives are at stake in our operations and therefore it is highly regulated also right so governments want to have a stake in understanding what goes on in the airline and therefore we have a need to have very good governance of the data that we have and also the use of privacy so we are a consumer facing industry where the consumers share some of the very sensitive data about themselves um, and again because of regulation we collect very important data about the customer their names the date of birth you know the travel document information for example so all this has to be kept you know in a secure fashion and governed in a way that uh, is in compliance with the rules and regulations and also done in a way that uh, that we know the provenance of the data for example right mm-hmm. and that is why uh, we believe the delta lake is the right concept for the times and then when you combine that with the generative ai uh, for example the use case that i talked about earlier of uh, the ceo coming and wanting to answer some questions for him then it is about combining the data that is already there in the delta lake with the generative ai capabilities to to answer the questions in natural language which makes a very powerful combination 